Let's examine all of the angles in radians that we should know by memory. Starting here on my x-axis, I'll have 0 or 360. You write that as 2 pi. Here I have 90, which is pi over 2. Across here, I have pi 180. Down here, 270 will be 3 pi over 2. Notice how these show up on the axis or on the quadrants. Now, in the middle of these, you will have the 45 degree angles. Here's 45 pi over 4. The denominators will be all 4 for your 45 degree angles. 135 will be 3 pi over 4. 225, 5 pi over 4. And then 315, 7 pi over 4. We will be looking here at the 30 degree angles. These will have denominators of 6. Here's 30 pi over 6. 150 right over here. 5 pi over 6. 210 right here. 7 pi over 6. I have over here 330, 11 pi over 6. What remains now are your 60 degree angles. They'll have denominators of 3. Here's 60. Remember, nothing is drawn to scale here, but this is my 60, and it'll be pi over 3. Here's 120, twice that, so it's 2 pi over 3. Here's 240. I will say that's 4 pi over 3. And lastly, I have 300 right here. We'll call that 5 pi over 3. Now, these are all of your angles in radians. And these are what you should know.